High School Football Highlights are sponsored by Moody's Tire and Auto with two locations to better serve you. Zach Poliski put the finishing touches on a defensive battle with this interception. It was called back to the 33-yard line, but it was enough to seal a 21-13 Franklin win at Ravenwood. We survived and got out of here is <laughs> what we did. Um, you know, great defensive football game from both teams. Quarterback Wes Patterson rushed for 90 yards in this touchdown for the Rebels, who defeated Ravenwood for the first time since 2011. Oh my God, I haven't, even in middle school, I didn't even beat him, and finally we got him, finally got him, it's great. Sometimes it's me, sometimes it's Carter, sometimes it's Mitch, you know, it's just who's ever night it is, really. Mitch Rossi led Franklin with 100 yards rushing and two touchdowns, including this go-ahead five-yard run. Man, Mitch, man, when it's time to go, Mitch shows up, he does, and, and he's a good, good football player. And uh, yeah, I push him, I do, I want him to be our leader because these kids will follow him, they'll follow him, and I know I push him probably sometimes too much, but he, he had a good football game tonight, that's for sure. You know, they did what we, th that what we thought they were going to do. Um, and again, it's just defensively, we played pretty well, but at times we didn't tackle very well. You know, offensively, we just had a myriad of problems. We, we didn't block very well up front, we didn't run the right routes at times, so it made it hard. Ravenwood quarterback McCain Marrow went 11 for 20 for 118 yards, but the Raptors gained just one yard on the ground. The two teams combined for less than 400 yards of offense. Ravenwood held the early lead after Franklin botched a snap in the end zone and went up 13-7 following a Franklin fumble. Both teams hit into a bye week for week six.